How do oil spills affect marine organisms? Today, we are going to explain the causes and effects of oil spills along with what you can do to stop them. What are oil spills? To understand this, first we must understand what oil is. Oil is a fossil fuel formed from the remains of ancient marine plants, algae, and bacteria. Once harvested, it is refined into commonly used chemicals and fuels. These are separated into two types, heavy oil and light oil. Heavy oil has a high viscosity and cannot flow easily, including ship fuel. Light oil has a low viscosity and can flow freely, including gasoline. So, what are oil spills? They are the release of these oils into the environment. Where do oil spills come from? Sadly, humans are to blame. Some examples include accidents with tankers, pipelines, refineries, and drilling rigs. Other examples, however, are intentional, including acts of terrorism, war, vandalism, and illegal dumping. After the initial leak, oil flows through rivers, bays, lakes, and runs off into the ocean. Because oil floats on salt water, it spreads rapidly and quickly causes damage. What marine organisms are most affected by oil spills? As shown in these images, seabirds, sea otters, and bivalves greatly suffer from spills. Other animals that are important to mention are dolphins, sea lions, and sea turtles. How are other marine animals affected? Oil causes serious health complications for marine life. Exposure disrupts their respiratory functions and causes reproduction defects. When fish intake oil through their gills, it affects the liver, heart, and respiratory rate, causing fatal cardiac arrest. When oil naturally disperses into the water column, small marine creatures like shellfish and shrimps, which cannot swim away, become endangered. How are marine plants affected? Oil blocks sunlight from entering the water and therefore plants are unable to photosynthesize and eventually starve. Spills also prevent gaseous exchange meaning their oxygen supply is cut off. While oil spills stun plant growth, they actually increase algae growth. This is dangerous because it creates adverse conditions that make it difficult for marine plants to grow. Lastly, the chemicals that are used to clean oil after a spill cause additional damages. How do oil spills affect the marine ecosystem? One of the long-lasting effects is the disruption of food chains, bringing even more pressure to the ecological state of marine biodiversity. For instance, phytoplankton is at risk. These microscopic creatures are a primary food source for many members of the marine ecosystem, but absorb enough toxins in an oil spill to make them unsafe to eat. The oil that seeps into the seafloor can hurt marine life for decades. Oil disturbs the salinity and pH levels of seawater and pollutes the surrounding air. Oil slicks remain until weather and time break down the oil. This natural cleansing process is slow, meaning irreversible damage would be done before the surface clears. So, environmentalists and government bodies are working diligently to clean our contaminated ocean. How are oil spills cleaned? The onshore method is shoreline flushing. The Coast Guard uses water hoses to rinse the oil from the shoreline into the water for easier collection, especially when the oil spill area is inaccessible to machines. Oil booms are long, floating, interconnected barriers that are common tools that act as a fence and minimize the spread of oil. Giant industrial-sized vacuum trucks suction oil from the shoreline or on the water surface. Manual removal is an excellent method when heavy machinery cannot reach an oiled shore. Cleanup crews use shovels, or other hand tools to pick up oil from the shoreline. If the decision is made to move on to a stage two cleanup and remove the remaining oil, sometimes a technique known as flushing can be used. High volumes of low pressure seawater are directed onto the upper shore. It's particularly effective when the oil is trapped in sediments or on sensitive shorelines like marshes. So much so that it can be used as a primary response. The released oil can be recovered using skimmers or pumps. How are oil spills cleaned at sea? At sea, cleanup respondents use specially designed chemicals to remove oil from the water. It's called dispersion. These chemicals break down the oil into smaller droplets, accelerating the disintegration process of the oil. Skimming is another at sea method. 
Boats with floating skimmers remove thin layers of oil from the surface with the help of booms. Another outsea response is burning the oil. Freshly spilt oil can be set on fire, usually when it's floating on the water, to effectively remove it. There is an alternative to containment and recovery and the use of dispersants, which has not been used in many spill incidents because it requires quite specific conditions, but it can remove large accumulations of oil, and that's in situ burning. How can we prevent future oil spills? To help prevent future oil spills, make smarter lifestyle choices. Whether it's decreasing fossil fuel usage, choosing fuel-efficient alternatives, or using green energy, everyone can make a change. The nautical industry is implementing actions to reduce oil spills. The Coast Guard is constantly updating its navigation technology to reduce boat collisions. Having a thorough inspection of equipment before putting it in the water can prevent leaks. Ship technology, known as double hulling, is a technique where two layers of watertight hull surface are used rather than one. This makes it less likely for a ship to leak oil. Remember, we are not the only ones impacted by our actions. The choices you make today can change the lives of your favorite sea animals tomorrow. Oil spills have lifelong negative effects on marine ecosystems. Marine plants and animals are counting on us to keep our pollution out of their home. For more ways to help, you can visit Surf Rider Foundation.